everybody welcome to the third episode of Safani. so i know i didn't make an episode for like a week or something but my boyfriend is visiting right now so i didn't make an episode for a few days so right now i'm making an episode probably gonna make like a couple more episodes at the same time so i hope you guys like the video so i think we last stopped we were in this uh cave and we saw these little crabbies i don't know what i'm so okay i'm not supposed to do that um Oh shit, I didn't remember- I remember those things before that they freaking blow me up or they kill me. Okay. <coughs> what am I supposed to do? Do I have to wall jump somewhere? Oh, there's one of those little bubbly thingies over there. Do I have to wall jump over there probably? Can I- oh, I changed to- oh, hello, that's a lot easier. Hold on. Oh wow, that actually wasn't- what the fuck? I can float? Oh shit, I might die. Okay, so I'm gonna run at this at an angle. That didn't work. How did I do it before? Oh, do I need to do it when that stuff's happening? Oh shit, it's not happening. Oh, now it is. Oh, I think I need to wait to when that's happening. Okay. Okay, so now. Or not. This is gonna take a while. There we go. Okay, I got up. So now I think I'm supposed to run. Jump again. Got it. Okay, now here I don't know what to do. Oh, I should have I should have waited. I should have waited! I should have waited! Okay, so I need to go up there again. How the fuck am I gonna do that? Shit, shit, I did it again. Fuck. To wait but I'm impatient as fucking shit okay run I did it again uh! go jump no Kaylee there you go you did it bitch okay run and jump you did it queen go off okay I did that so now I don't have to do that shit ever again and I'm dead so I'm glad I did that shit. Oh, so I don't want to do it. I think I want to time it. Okay. Okay, so I think I want to do it when they stop and then right before they start again. So now. Oh, I fucked up. Shit. How am I supposed to do that? Okay, now? Come on. No, no. God damn it. No! <laughs> no! I have to restart there now. Oh my God. This episode's actually gonna be garbage. That works out. Walk into a checkpoint to save progress. When you fall out of bounds, you will return to the last checkpoint. Okay. So now from here, where the heck am I supposed to go from here? Oh, I made it. This is hard. Uh Why is this one Arkansas? But this one is Kansas. What? Run, 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 run. Go. Go. No. Fuck. I clenched the mass cheeks. I got that one. Now I just gotta get the fucking second one. Forehead. Just get it. Forehead. While sprinting, R2. Jump into the water glancing angle. Let go of R2 to fall or press X to jump off, restoring your dash. Oh, but you still can't wall run after that. Am I dumb? Because I can't keep wall running after I do that. I got it. 
A fucking, oh my God, I swear if I died, I would have been really upset. Bronchial anemone thrascius. In and out, in and out. It's like a giant lung. Holy shit, it is like a lung. Everyone ready? This looks like it'll be a tough link. I think so. All right, let's get going. I feel like as time goes on, the puzzles just get harder and harder and longer. And I was legitimately falling asleep while doing that puzzle. I can feel that the force of connection were almost at full resonance. Oh, I got an achievement. That's good. At least that was worth it. Decoding data for bronchial anemone thrascius. It adjusts the air pressure without Stephanie, even creating subterranean weather patterns that allow for unprecedented life forms to flourish in the depths. Deep, 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 deep. An onyx mind share is coming. At light speed highway opens its doors. A light speed highway opens its doors. Thoughts, memories, feelings, hope, race forth. A lonely receiver beyond time drinks the deluge. Indulging. Borders sees airspace can't stop it. Change shines out and its unstoppable ray pierces hearts and minds. An onyx mind share is here. In Gwenlin. Last night you sat at a campfire grilling a fish, deftly turning it to avoid burning. You wish there were some lemon or seasoning. The fish tastes bland and the smell takes you back to a year ago at work. To your co-workers dismay, you absentmindedly popped fish into the microwave. A minute later, the damage was done. The scent filled the break room for a day, but unlike the others who could stand or relax a bit more, you didn't mind because it's just fish. Besides, the smell reminded you. Besides, the smell reminded you of her back in the states, across an ocean beyond a, a border. An imaginary line metastasized into an infinite black chasm. One time, she light. How could you ever forget the name? Microwaved a fish on the second or third night she stayed over. She got so worried about the smell cleaning it up, searching for help videos on removing fish smell, but after a while her energy synchronized with yours as you realized, as she realized you truly didn't care. It's okay, Light, it's just fish. Fishy! Picking fish from a street market, fish drying out in the sun. The delectable seduction of a restaurant's front fish tank. A little candy fish to sweeten the dinner bill. Fish frozen whole at the underground supermarket beneath the electronics store. Tiny fish mixed into salad, the last on the convenience store shelf. Ew, fish. In the salad? Fish sliced, processed, batter fried, and frozen into tiny fish-shaped nuggets. The first time you ate eel, you asked why it was so expensive, and your parents said it was a treat, and also that it's Japanese eel, so the quality is better than Chinese eel. You're six, you don't care because you want to go home and watch videos on the internet. <laughs> Ingwin's data has been received. Also, we're just learning about Ingwin. Fish, you grumble to yourself. Should have gotten stranded at a remote curry house instead. When you're in from Japan, fish is quite popular. People plan years ahead to go there to get it, but you hate it. You hate the timely, endless bones, the way the flesh breaks apart, the skin, the smell, whether it's been stewed or fried, you'd rather not partake. I don't like fish. But the least I can do is not let it bother Amy or Ingwin, you think. You can tell that they enjoyed grilling the fish. Besides, fuck, I pressed X too soon. Some friends at your American college wondered why you didn't like fish or any seafood. They looked so disappointed when you replied that it was just a personal preference. Why is the flag blue? Or it might have been an international high school classmate, a white boy whose dad was stationed at a USA military base. The boy asked you if you'd ever had a sub sandwich. You said you did once at the mall, ordering it was a complicated procedure, conferring with the plastic glove employee about each ingredient and sauce. The classmate said there's a lot of sandwiches in the USA, but hey, actually I hate sandwiches, so maybe it's okay for you to hate fish. Someone once asked if you were scared of food poisoning. No, of course not, you said. The one time you got sick was from all things, a family trip to the USA after eating some carrots. Fish individually sliced in small packages at the supermarket. Silver, orange, red, white. Fish shredded up and processed into tiny tubes you can cut. Swimming in a kiddie pool at a summer festival. Tirelessly swimming around and around in a fancy hotel's pond. You wonder how many other worlds of cuisines might be out there shuffled neatly into an aisle of a supermarket. You could try to taste them one by one, but what is food devoid of context? You picture yourself as a fish swimming back home to Tokyo. Up the Sumida River sewage system is the water main of your apartment. Into your sink, into the hands of your husband, Shinji. I'm home. Welcome back. Ryu's data has been received. Now we have to do Amy. Wake up. Your mom says it's time to go. It's time for school. But it's Saturday. I need to study. You asked me to show you how to cook this, right? Right, that's right, you did. Now it's Saturday, you have to make your good make good on your words. The parking lot? Together you go shopping for dinner. So I have salmon with carrots. Butter, rosemary, rustic, rustic ingredients. You like it a lot, it's a baked dish, which is perfect for homes with large ovens. The majority of the USA. It's in from the same fish that sits out at the Chinese buffets across from the nursing home. Your maternal grandfather loved that buffet and would insist on everyone going for his birthday. 
Chinese buffet is impressive, countless dishes making their way with consistent quality to the water and heat lamp metal trays. Sitting below the plastic sneeze guards into the, ew, in the brick walls of a strip mall set upon the wide flat landscape of Bloomington, Illinois. Farm raised salmon frozen in the supermarket, skin chopped frozen in big bags, sometimes breaded, sometimes fried with chili sauce, lemon sauce, cream sauce, just distilled in oil and sold in tiny capsules. Served up to six ways you like blackened with fries or coleslaw on the side. Always fries. Always fries. I love coleslaw. I coleslaw today. It was really good. You're having a hard time on the island right now with gutting fish, but it's okay. Ending the day with a grilled fish reminded me of your resolve. What you've done in your life to be where you're at. You think of your mother, your grandmother, the comfort of an overstewed fish dish scattered across a, a amongst the hot ceramic plates, plates of relatives. It'll be okay and I'll pull through. What are we even bringing up fish for? I'm so lost. They all have a, a memory about fish. Three transmissions of flawless quality. The highway shines with beauty. A wonderful night out here. Lucky, lucky. Connection complete. I am fucking clueless right now. Absolutely. Dude, that looks like a butthole when I came in. Thrascius is a filter feeder. It amplifies the cave's natural pressure dynamics to pull vast swaths of air through its mouth, capturing and metabolizing the barrier snow and other particles. We should also be grateful. Thrascius helps us to prevent the buildup of dangerous gases like ammonia and sulfur in poorly ventilated pockets throughout Stephanie. Strange to think about how altering the pressure in one chamber can create ripple effects throughout the entire system. I'm almost, most curious about its relationship to the barrier snow. Perhaps this data can help us once we return to the surface. But for now, let's take a short rest and then keep moving forward. Good work, team. Good work, team. Oh, here's the Stephanie alien observer. Mm -mm. That was how they caught my attention. It was those feelings, those absurd and alien f memories flooding my senses. Of course, I had known the taste, the texture of fish. Oh, I see about the fish now. But to season it with gentle glances and full-throated laughter, to sear its flesh with gut-deep longing, and to lay it down across a bed of concrete and fabric, I had to know more about them. But how? Dot, dot, dot. So now what do I do? Do I go down or do I talk to it? Ah, mm, upper stratum air pressure, lower depths humidity regulated, distant cavern micro pockets flushed, forecast of accelerated mouse growth for depths of 100 meters and below, an unprecedented influx of water vapors available for redirection to any layer. Okay, so I think we have to go to the bottom. And then leave. So from here, oops, I just left. I meant to go back. <laughs> so from here, run, jump. Okay, and and then die. That's the goal. Die again. That's the goal. I don't understand while running. I feel like, yep. Okay, I just clenched my ass cheeks to get that. Okay, so what is this? What the fuck? There's a random ass room? Human room? What's going on? What is this place? Some sort of office kind of looks familiar, but I thought we were the first ones being sent here. Did I hear wrong? Did a, the USA send someone else here beforehand? I guess they must have. Weird location. Who are we dealing with here? Office reminds me of those painted animal dioramas in a natural history museum. Oh yeah, like the ones with dim lighting and painted backdrops? Forced perspective. Amy, you really don't know anything. No, I swear. I thought for a second maybe there would be help for us. You know when, when we were doing that briefing in the USA Bloomington office, wasn't there a room like this? The chill guy, older, but like he felt young at heart, right? I remember he brought us hot dogs. Oh my god, hot dogs sound so good. Bloomington's finest. But yeah, that was Dr. Lee. He did quit recently. Some disagreement with the other seniors. He was past retirement age, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Couldn't stop talking about it. Cross-country train trip. Maybe he just came on his own. <gasps> Is he the alien dude? Well, someone should have told us, surprising with this cave office. Yeah, I don't know. Things like this happen in huge organizations. Hello again, question mark. Dr. Lee! Oh, Amy. So nice to see a familiar face. Dr. Lee, you're... Why are you here? I thought you quit. Yeah, that's right. I quit my job and rode a train across the country to see my family in California. Don't you just love trains? Like the slime molds, fissarium, polycephalum. What? We humans seek connection. The spiritual filaments of our fumbling desires coalesce into a network of grooves, and then we are made physically by our collective effort. Yes, yes. Oh, but it's not so simple, is it? There are snags in the human network, knotted veins, swollen accumulations of energy that drastically redirect the flow of reality. Thousands broke their backs to lay the railroads, while precious few reap the rewards. But how did we end up here? I couldn't have let you have the, all the fun now, could I? 
There were grooves worn deep into my heart too, you know. I grew tired of sitting and watching from afar, from afar year after year. I know what you mean. Anguin. I mean, since Dr. Lee brought it up, don't you ever feel like you're reaching for something? Maybe you're not even sure what it is? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's always just out of reach. And in the meantime, I get so tired sometimes. Tired of everything. Even the things, the people I want to care about. How did this become sharing time? Dr. Lee, I never knew you felt this way. I'm not sure that I knew either, but we're all here now, aren't we? And isn't that a strange and special thing? Yeah, I suppose it is. By the way, Dr. Lee, are you in contact with Bloomington at all? We lost signal after the berry went up. As much as we'd like to keep exploring, we also don't want to miss, miss a potential rescue. Bloomington in the USA. I remember it well. He, he, he. I always just say, if you can't fit in with the no normal folks, try Bloomington. Heh <laughs> what? Bloomington is adjacent to a town called Normal. Oh. There's a town called Normal? But to answer your question, no, I haven't been on the operation since quitting my job. That said, I have a data feed coming from the surface, and I can assure you that there's no rescue party nearby yet. Don't worry, I'm sure they're on their way, but in the meantime, enjoy your research. I'll come find you if I see anything. How about that? Are you sure you should be spelunking, Dr. Lee? You mean because of my advanced stage along the human lifespan? Haha, <laughs> don't worry about me, I have my ways. Who the fuck is this guy? Guess he made it this far. I will have to trust him to take care of himself. I can hope that he, I'm doing such a cool stuff. At his, I can only hope that I'm doing such cool stuff at his age. There's something strange about the way he was talking. Does it make that big of a difference to quit your job? What will I be like after retiring? Hmm, I liked him. Yeah, he's alright. Haha. <laughs> there were other humans on Stephanie before my trio. Memories are coming back so slowly. I don't see what's so great about that silly old man. But he's lucky he could talk to them. A um, human among humans. Okay, so he's not the observer. The observer's separate. Well, the observer is like a spirit. The observer is Stephanie. What is this down here? Oh shit, new area. Thank you so much for watching episode three. I'm sorry if I got lost a lot and there was a lot of dialogue. I was falling asleep for half of it, but I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Goodbye.